In this video, I'm going to showcase the agency feature of hosting the Interactor app on your own custom domain. I'm going to head over to the agency tab on the left and you can see the agency app details. Now, first I'm going to name the app. So let's just call this video suite because I'm assuming, uh, you know, we're going to use this as the name in this demo and it says down here setting up your custom domain it says step one create a cname record on your web host from your custom subdomain to custom.interactorapp.com so let me show you what this means now our web host who we use to buy our domains is godaddy so i'm going to head over to GoDaddy and when we're in GoDaddy I'm going to manage my domains now of course if you don't use GoDaddy it will be the same process it just will be laid out differently so you want to go to where your domains are and find the domain that you want to host your Interactor app on so I'm going to type in video suite in the search over here because we've got a few video suite domains and I'm going to use let's say video suite.net now when you go into the domain settings you want to go down and you want to go to manage DNS now when you go down to manage DNS then what we want to do is what it said over here create a CNAME record on your web host for your custom subdomain okay so the subdomain means that if my website is going to be videosuite.net the subdomain for our interactor app we would probably want it to say app so app.videosuite.net so I'm gonna add the subdomain so I'm gonna create the C name record on the web host first which is step one so i'm just going to go to add where it says records under dns management i'm just going to click on add then the type is cname the host is what i want the subdomain to be so i'm going to say i want it to be app and what it has to do is point to this uh domain custom.interactorapp.com okay and that's what it says here. Create a CNAME record on your web host from your custom subdomain to custom.interactorapp.com. And what that is is here, okay? App goes under host and it has to point to custom.interactorapp.com. I'm gonna click on save. Now it can take, uh, you know, up to an hour or so for this to work. So hopefully it's not gonna take that long. Now I'm gonna go back over to Interactor and it says step two enter your subdomain name in the field above uh, and don't include any of the HTTP or anything at the start then hit verify to see if it's worked so remember the subdomain was app.videosuite.net that's where I want my white label agency app to be I'm going to click on verify and it says success, domain name is valid. Now, as I said, it can take an hour or so for this to work. This one's worked pretty much straight away. And that is the process to get our agency level app on our own subdomain. So now if I went to app.videosuite.net, so if I open a new tab and go to app.videosuite.net, net hit enter what it's going to pull up when my internet loads is our interactor app okay now in a different video we're going to show you how you can white label this to have it with your own logo your own colors and your own branding but as you can see this video is showing you how to get your agency edition of interactor 
on your own subdomain, which what we chose was app as the subdomain on our website, videosuite.net. 